Yes, so hi, my name is Evelyn Clark, and I um, am the Youth Peer Liaison for the Washington State Healthcare Authority with the Division of Behavioral Health and Recovery. And so what I get to do for work is um, I get, I was actually hired for my lived experience with being in the system as a youth. And so um, at the state level, I'm able to um, program manage different programs and for youth development, youth leadership, and I'm able to influence youth and youth leaders to um, empower them to be the leaders that they are in their communities and in the workforce. What, what was your message here at the peer-to-peer at the -peer event? Yeah, so my message today was um, empowering others. Um, it was really utilizing my lived experience. Um, I titled it um, Dealing Hope and Empowerment um, from Incarceration to Inspiration because um, that was my story of being in the system at a young age in the juvenile justice system and um, not really having a sense of direction for my life or purpose and now as in a career I'm able to empower those around me to just continue the journey of life. I would say the biggest challenges are is there's still a stigma on individuals with lived experience whether they've been incarcerated or they've been um, to substance use treatment, um, we still have to push through and model to people that we are professionals and that we can recover and can change. Um, and so I would think that is the biggest, one of the biggest challenges that I face currently still. Um, yeah. How important do you think it is to have a, an event like this appear to be a peer event? Oh, this is vital in the work that we do. Um, this definitely we need to be networking with one another. We need to know that we're not alone. I think what happens is sometimes we're in the field and we may not, we may feel like we're in it alone, that we're the one, the only ones out there sharing our lived experience and, and facing the stigmas of our role. So coming together, empowering each other, reminding each other that we are not our diagnosis, we are not the mistakes that we made and that we can continue to strive.